The ocean makes up 70% of the planet and is home to many diverse ecosystems. Ecosystems based around coral reefs are home to more than 25% of marine life. These ecosystems are believed to have the highest biodiversity of any other ecosystem on the planet. Corals generate billions of dollars and millions of jobs worldwide, provide food sources and coastal protection to surrounding communities. Corals are also currently being used to develop life-saving medicines for cancer, leukemia, HIV, AIDS, and Alzheimer's disease, as researchers have just realized the potentials they have. Corals are truly one of the world's most magnificent animals and hold an immense amount of importance to humans and marine life. During my sophomore year, I started interning at the Gates Lab on Coconut Island, and that was the first time I got the opportunity to look at corals under the microscope, and I was blown away. I saw the coral polyps moving and trying to eat, and I always knew corals were alive, but it wasn't until I actually saw them moving and interacting with their environment that made me appreciate how much they do for all organisms, including humans. Though they're small and only cover less than 1% of the oceans, they provide habitat, food, and protection for 25% of marine life. Coral reefs are one of the most diverse ecosystems on the planet, rivaling the Amazon. Corals worldwide also generate nearly tens of billions of US dollars per year. Not only do they generate an income for millions of people worldwide, they also provide food and coastal protection to families living near them. Many families, including my own, depend on fish as one of our main food sources. We depend on healthy coral reefs to provide us with sustainable food sources, not just for today, but for generations to come. Growing up, I've noticed a decline in fish populations just by snorkeling around and have talked to other fishermen with the same concerns. Not only a food source, corals provide coastal protection for communities around Hawaii. Coral reefs create a barrier around many coastal communities that protect them from weather events such as hurricanes, tsunamis, storms, and erosion. Corals are diverse animals that come in many shapes and sizes and have skeletons made up of calcium carbonate that are extremely strong and able to withstand many environmental stressors. This allows corals to protect coastlines from storms and erosion. I first fell in love with corals when I moved to Hawaii to go to university. I began scuba diving a lot more and I did the scientific divers course, which allowed me to be in the water more frequently, and I was able to see all the different organisms that coral reefs affect and provide a home to. My passion for corals has grown even more in the last two years while I've been interning in the Gates Coral Lab. I have learned so much about corals. I have learned about how resilient they can actually be to all of these environmental stressors that are going on around them how important they are to the ecosystems, how important they are to humans, how important they are to coastal regions, and most recently I've learned how they could be a bit, play a big role in finding out the cure to diseases such as cancer. According to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, corals could be considered as the medicine cabinets of the 21st century. Corals are stationary animals and as a result have developed chemical substances as defense mechanisms to protect themselves from predators. These defense mechanisms are currently being researched by scientists to see the medicinal potential that could be used to treat cancer, heart disease, Alzheimer's disease, arthritis, and many other viruses and diseases. However, corals are in great decline mainly because of human-induced problems such as a rise in carbon dioxide and other fossil fuels in the atmosphere causing global climate change. Global climate change has led to sea surface temperatures increasing, causing stress on many marine organisms, especially coral reefs, which have suffered severe bleaching events. It is estimated that corals have already lost 25% of their population and another two-thirds that are under threat according to the World Wildlife Fund. While climate change is a major threat to corals, there are also many people causing unnecessary stress to them, such as touching them, kicking them, and stirring up sediment that will smother them when they go snorkeling or diving. To help corals, we have come up with a few short-term solutions while you're visiting Hawaii. One, look, don't touch. Two, be self-aware in the water. Most people don't even realize they are kicking or touching corals, so be conscious of what you're touching. And three, if you're not a strong swimmer, use a boogie board for stability. 
you will be able to view but shallower coral reefs without touching and harming them. If you want to continue protecting corals and the planet when you leave Hawaii, here are two long-term solutions that will make a huge difference. One, reduce your electricity usage, such as unplugging electronic cords when not using them or turning off lights when you leave a room. Two, reduce your carbon emissions by carpooling, walking, taking the bus, riding a bike, and using carbon offset emissions when flying simply by checking the box when you go to buy your next flight.